Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in again. So today I've got a review for you. Um, I have been sent this device. It's called the XP Pen Artist Display 22 HD. And this is a drawing tablet, 22 inches, 1080p HD resolution. And it's by a company called XP Pen. Like I just said, they sent it to me to try out and I am not paid for this video but I did want to review this and let you know what I think of it. I really love digital art. When I started my channel I did a lot of digital art so I really, I'm really happy to get back into it. So I'm not completely inexperienced with it. So hopefully I can give you an honest review. So you can see it's a pretty big device. There's an adjustable, adjustable stand on the back side so you can place it in an angle you like. And then on the bottom there are the cable entries. So with the, with the tablet you get two styluses. You only see one here but there are two. Um, a cleaning cloth and then also a glove that you can use so you can rest your hand on the screen without the screen getting dirty so I really like that as well I use it every time I draw and of course you also get all the cables you need to connect the device to your computer because it has to be connected to a computer in order for it to work for the drawing software I use ArtRage 5 um, the drawing software doesn't come with the device, so you have to buy that yourself. I like ArtRage, so I bought that. Um, yeah, so here you can see me do some work in ArtRage. I just did a simple landscape to practice my landscapes. I'm not really good at landscapes, so, so I really like to practice that on the tablet because it's easy to adjust and to erase. Of course without you having to waste any expensive art materials so um, the stylus works really well on the screen it has a little big bit of lag but not too much I got adjusted to it pretty easily and you can also get really detailed with it so so far when it comes to the drawing and the response it works really well only I had some trouble with the stylus to respond in the very corners of the screen. So that's something that I don't like. But overall, um, the stylus works really well. And it's chargeable as well. It's rechargeable. But I only had to charge it once so far. And I've been using this device for the past month now. So I really like that. So now moving on to the pros and cons that I found. This is just a quick review. Um, I'm not getting too much into the details, into the numbers, because I'm not really tech savvy. So I'll just um, explain my experiences and my, my pros and cons that I found about the device. So the first pro is definitely the screen size. I really like to work big. So if you like to work big, to work with big movements when you draw, a large screen is definitely recommended. And I really like that, so the screen size is a pro. So far it also works really smoothly. I haven't had any problems with it when it comes to crashing or lagging or something else. It just works really well. And I also use it to do my video editing on now, so I really like that. And I also play games on it. So, so far I found that it's a very smooth working device, very versatile. So another pro is the pressure sensitivity. This screen has pressure sens sensitivity, so the harder you press, the thicker your line gets when you draw. And I really like that, that gives more of a natural feeling, just like when you're working on paper. So I also love to know what kind of drawing tablet you work on and if you would recommend it. Let me know in the comments. 
it's always fun to know what others use. Another pro is that the colors and the brightness of the screen can be adjusted. There's a button on the bottom right of the screen and with that you can set the colors and the brightness to what you prefer. So I really like that. So the first con for me is that the device is really heavy. I wouldn't recommend it to travel with. If you're looking for something to travel with, this is not a device I would recommend. It also feels fragile in a way, especially the stand on the back, so not to travel with. Oh, I forgot a pretty big pro, which is the price. Um, this sells now for about $700, which is a lot of money, of course. But when you compare it to the other pen displays for, of this size, like the Wacom Cintiqs, those go up to thousands of dollars. So when you, when you compare it to that, the price of this device is pretty low. And because I haven't had any problems with the device, with with working with it, I think um, price is really good for the quality you get. So another big con for me is the glare on the screen. You could see it just a few minutes ago when I worked on the landscape, the screen reflects. There is a glare on the screen which is pretty annoying, especially when you want to photograph the device or film it. Um, you can basically always see yourself in it, so that's something I don't like. Another con for me is the placing of the cable entries. So you could see they are placed at the back side, on the back side of the device at the bottom. For the looks, it could be a nice place because you can see them. But when you want to um, plug in the cables or adjust them or remove them, you have to turn over the whole thing and it's heavy and it feels fragile. So in that way, for the functionality, I think the cables could be placed somewhere else and the cables get bent as well, so I don't really like that. So these were all the pros and cons that I've experienced, that I've found out over the past month. So far I really really like this device, I use it almost every day now, haven't had any problems with it. I would recommend it for a hobbyist or a digital artist with a low budget who wants to upgrade from a drawing pad to a larger pen display like this one. But if you are really a professional and you have the budget, I would go for the best right now on the market, which are the Wacom Cintiqs. So that is what I think. Yeah, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Would you use this? Would you get this? Um, what do you think of the price? And I will also leave a link to the site in the description so you can check it out there. I'm sorry for my voice, by the way. I'm still recovering from a cold, so my, vo my voice is a bit cracky. Um, it's not 100%, so I'm sorry for that. But I really want to thank you for watching. And if you like digital art, if you want me to do it more often on, on this channel as well, let me know. And... Yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.